Oh, it's a maze. Very gently. <laughs> Whoa. We're through. High Point University. Model Here's Mimi and Pop. Bye. Love you too. Yeah. I'll send you pictures. Mom, look, it's my hometown, High Point University. Why are you playing? Which one? You lead the way. Go ahead. I see Pablo B A T. We're going to edit. Yes, Gabriel, I told you those be walk boys. We got here 10 minutes early. The next stop is for. Hold on. <sighs> so I haven't even had a chance to come and say anything, but obviously we're traveling today. We left out of Greensboro, went to Atlanta, took Atlanta and ended in Baltimore and that's when things just went left. We were trying to check in for our military flight and our COVID results expire before we get there. So we had to rush out in town in Baltimore, find a pharmacy that would produce the results, get the results and then go back to the airport. It has been an unexpected nightmare, but it's like, what else about this PCS hasn't been? What are your thoughts about today, about what's going on? Um, bad. Not great and uh, horrible. Yeah. I'm sure June feels the same way. She had like a 20 minute nap all day long. It's been rough, man. I had three months to prepare and I just feel so ill prepared. <sighs> but we're getting it done. We The flight doesn't leave, thank God, until 11.40 tonight. So we have to check in two and a half hours early and it is, it's 6.24. So we got time, we're gonna make it. And the pharmacy, thank God, they close at 6.30, but the guy said that they would stay open long enough to get the results and email them to me. And then I'll just print them at the USO. Oh, and also, like, everybody in Maryland's been great. Our Lyft driver was great. The pharmacy was great. The USO here is fantastic. We have four big bags of furn uh, furniture. Why do I keep calling it furniture? We have four big bags of luggage. And... <laughs> you know, military. <laughs> right. We have four huge bags of luggage. Um, of course, all the baby stuff. So June's car seat, stroller, Gabriel's got a carry-on. We each have a carry-on and they let us store all of that in like this little closet. So kudos to them. I mean, they are really, oh, they've really been accommodating. Oh, and they provided us with a list of pharmacies that would PCR us in enough time. So things are looking up. We just have to get on this flight, get to Italy. God, do we still have to make it through customs, produce the COVID test results again? <sighs> but I think we're gonna make it. Cause I thought the journey was gonna end here and we were just gonna have to turn around and go back to my parents' house. But things are looking up. Time is on our side. Just in case you've never been to the USO, We made it. 
everything came through, our results came through, we're all negative, we checked in, we put our bags away, June 8th, dinner, and next is me and Gabriel. We're gonna go through TSA here in about 15 minutes, and uh, man, hopefully knock out, like as soon as we get settled on the plane. <clears throat> oh, sis, on camera, oh my gosh. Our flight doesn't leave until almost midnight. So I'm hoping that the baby will be asleep by then, but she's been surprising me all day, so we'll see. I'm just grateful to be at this point in the journey because I knew it was going to be eventful, but I didn't think it was going to be this eventful. But uh, next stop is Germany. You ready, ma'am? We were literally in Germany to brush our teeth. I packed these carry-on hygiene kits with a toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, and deodorant. Each of us had a washcloth. We did our thing and got right back on the plane to head to Italy. Once we touched down, nobody was allowed to get off of the plane until they had a temperature check, showed proof of a negative COVID test, and or proof of vaccines. After a total of 13 hours in the air, 12 hours worth of layovers, and 46 hours of travel, we finally made it. I am so happy and so grateful to be here and be back with my family. Here's a little sneak peek of Naples, and here's June looking so sus about the situation. I hope she changes her mind. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.